Is heavily guarded. That probably means my brother is close.
You stand against impossible hardship. So then why? Why not use the elixir? I... I was waiting... for this moment! <laughs> the blight of the elixir. It all ends here, and now.
I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I cannot allow the people of my village, who made me who I am, or my one and only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo to infiltrate their forces. I hope to track Yuji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Meiwu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yu Ji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. Sister safe. Brother! How strong you've become, Hong Jing. <laughs> General Liu was determined to not let you get involved. He fought a long, hard, and lonely fight. Seems not only Shu province, but many of our other cities have fallen to Yuan Shao as well. And I don't know where my brothers are. General Guan, hmm? if you have no objections, how about staying with Minister Cao for the time being? It will not be easy for you to search for General Liu until these enemy forces are defeated. Hmm. I could see General Yuan's star falling. And three new stars have risen up. What might this portend? Yuan Shao suddenly heads south toward Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many, and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. 
With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds. But his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. Shao's forces have taken the Yanjin fort. <sighs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chou. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what do the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Cao Cao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the Taoists who killed our father. <laughs> Cao Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Man's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! Without my sworn brothers by my side now, it is but you I can entrust my life with. Let us learn. 